what's going on? Shane with the 5 to 9 Creator. Today I'm going to address a video that I saw based on some comments in another video about how to get rid of that really annoying yellow line in CapCut whenever you're editing. It like follows you around and a lot of people in the comments of other videos that I've seen said that they don't know how to get rid of it or how to turn it on and off. So I'm going to show you right now. So it's actually really easy to do. It's just this little button over here. It says turn on preview access. I have mine set to F on my keyboard so that's why it turns on and off so often because I'm constantly touching my keyboard and doing different things. So if you want it on, all you have to do is have it on like this and it can be handy in certain situations. But if you want it off, all you have to do is go over here to the turn off preview button and it will no longer be there. Now in the future, what I recommend that you do is actually go up to shortcuts here and go to that preview button, which is assigned to F for me right now and switch it to something that you don't press very often, maybe something like F1 or F2, one of the function buttons that you're not gonna touch very often. That way you can turn it on and off on purpose and not on accident. So just a quick little additional tip for that one. All right, that's my quick little video today. This might even be under one minute, which would technically make it a short, and I don't know how YouTube figures that out. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video and help solve your problem, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share this with any other creator that you know that has this problem, because I'm sure there's lots of them out there. I know I had it for a pretty long time until I figured it out. And if you wanna see more videos on how to use CapCut for Mac or PC, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video today. I'll see you in a future video.